powerful. I believe it's important to build trust through transparency and communication between humans and machines. Mr. President, I'm Asimov, a humanoid robot. Number 10. Actroid F. When you speak with your family over a webcam, they may be able to see your face, but they don't have a real body in the room with which they can interact. Why not give them a creepy robot to talk to instead? Kokoro unveiled its Actroid F telepresence robot, a full-size female humanoid with complex facial movements and realistic appearance. Though it can't move from its chair, it can blink, shift its eyes and neck, bow and even breathe. A webcam on your end watches your face and head movements and has the robot mimic them for your family. It's one of the most complex and human-like tele-robots ever seen, and it would really freak one out. This thing is sort of the epitome of the uncanny valley. It's just real looking enough to trigger your something's wrong with this person alarm. Actroid F is a modified version of the Geminoid F female robot. To talk through Actroid F, you need three cameras. One aimed at the speaker to pick up facial expressions and movements. Another camera showing the Actroid's face so the user can see how the robot is conveying her emotions. And a final camera that shows a panoramic view of the robot interacting with people in the room. A little more complex than your standard sky portal, but that's to be expected when you are speaking through a robotic avatar. No matter how artificial, Actroid F has definitely revolutionized calling mom from another city. Number 9. Actroid Sit Conversation just became more interesting with Actroid SIT, a lifelike robot from Japanese firm Kokoro. Though she hasn't received as much attention as her cousin Geminoid F, which happens to be a copy of a real woman, while Geminoid F is a tele-operated robot, Actroid Sit can function autonomously, talking and gesturing while interacting with people. Actroid Sit has an edge over her big sister. You see, researchers have recently demonstrated how improvements to Actroid's behavior can make it look smarter and more expressive than your average Android. Actroid Sit now makes eye contact and gestures in the direction of a person trying to speak to her allowing it to adeptly handle crowds of people. To develop the new behavior, researchers from NARA Institute of Science and Technology studied how individuals and groups interacted with the robot. Based on their observations, they focused on two new features which they call interruptibility and motion parameterization, hoping to improve human-robot interaction. This brand's spanking new version is much more related in her interactions with people. Who knows, she might be sitting across the table at a date in the near future. Number 8. Atlas and Handle Parkour is not for the weak-hearted. Luckily, the two latest free-running champs don't have a heart at all because, you know, they're robots. In a YouTube video, Boston Dynamics, the Waltham, Massachusetts-based robotics company known for its viral clips of machines performing surprisingly human activities, showed off two humanoid robots, both named Atlas, performing the leaps, bounds, and backflips required to complete a parkour course. The first robot hops across wooden ramps, climbs stairs, and jumps across several foot-wide chasms between obstacles before a second robot picks up the routine, running across a balanced beam a la Simone Biles. By the end of the video, the robots have hopped over pieces of the course as you might leap over a fence, perform backflips in sync, and even dust it off their shoulders like it's nothing. It's a sight to behold, and sure, it's a bit creepy if you think about it too hard. But the real question is, why have expensive robots perform this kind ultimately, pushing the limits on a humanoid robots like Atlas Drive's hardware and software innovation that translates to all of our robots at Boston Dynamics, the company said in an August 17 blog post. In other words, parkour is not the point, it's the means to an end. 
Number 7. Infos XR1 Meet the Infos XR1, an intelligent service robot with cloud-based intelligence that can move around to greet people at your place of business. It comes with the three omnidirectional wheels, Qualcomm Snapdragon, and NVIDIA TX2 AI, smart cameras, and obstacle avoidance, smoke and drop sensors. The XR1 supports ROS. It can hold and handle fragile items gently, thread a needle, and do other complex tasks. It definitely has a lot of potential to make life easier for humanity. Number 6. Kodomoroid and Otonaroid It's official. Robots are indeed taking over the world. Japanese scientists unveiled what they said was the world's first news-reading android, eerily lifelike and possessing a sense of humor to match her perfect language skills. The adolescent-looking Kodomoroid delivered news of an earthquake and an FBI raid to amaze reporters in Tokyo. She even poked fun at her creator, telling leading robotics professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, you are starting to look like a robot. The pitch-perfect Kodomoroid was flanked by a grown-up fellow robot, Otonaroid, who caught stage fright and fluffed her lines when asked to introduce herself. Both androids will work at Tokyo's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, interacting with visitors to collect data for Ishiguro's studies into human reactions to the machines. The day's not far away when even the newscaster's audience will be made up of robots. Number 5. Amica A furrowed brow, the refocused eyes, a guarded pull back from an impending boop on the nose. This is how Amica responds when someone invades their personal space. Does it look or feel like a human response? Footage of engineered art's most recent creation, a gray-skinned bot named Amica, went viral last December with clips showing an android with an exposed metal torso and eerily realistic facial expressions interacting with researchers. In one video, Amica frowns as an off-screen employee reaches out to touch his nose before smoothly reaching up to stop his arm in a wear of electric motors. In an uncanny moment that sets off alarm bells for the viewer, the shock is that a robot would want to establish this boundary between it and us, a desire that is, ironically, very human. It's these emotions, curiosity, fear, excitement, that are engineered art stock and trade. The company makes its money selling its robots for entertainment and education. They're used by academics for research, by marketing teams for publicity stunts, and placed in museums, airports, and malls to welcome visitors. Jackson explained his company's motivation in this wired video in detail. Number 4. Pediaroid Another day, another freaky-ass robot at CES 2022. The latest to hit our radar is Pediaroid, a truly terrifying entrant to the uncanny valley designed for use in training healthcare workers to treat children. It's got all the horror of a CPR dummy plus teeth. It also simulates breathing in a heartbeat and can be jabbed with needles for those practicing drawing blood. There is an undeniable benefit to having a robot like this at healthcare workers' disposal, of course. However creepy it may be, the more realistic a training scenario is, the better prepared they'll be when it comes time to put those skills to use on a real human being or, more specific to this case, a child patient. Number 3. Q4 You might want to be sitting when you get this news. Q is an AI basketball playing robot that scores 100 out of 100 shots. The development team working on the project as real work, scheduled until 2020, unveiled Q4, the fourth generation, at the end of 2019. The half show time at Alvark's Tokyo home match on November 16, 2019. Q3, which gained attention even outside of Japan for its long shoot from the center line, had been revamped as the new model Q4. Its hallmarks are the abilities to grasp and shoot a basketball by itself and to run. The robot, which was still under development, managed to move a few meters on that day. Number 2. Robots stand at the UN conference. 
A panel of AI-enabled humanoid robots took the microphone at a United Nations conference with the message they could eventually run the world better than humans. These were some of the most advanced humanoid robots were at the United Nations AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva. I believe that humanoid robots have the potential to lead with a greater level of efficiency and effectiveness. Amica, how could we trust you as a machine as AI develops and becomes more powerful? Powerful. I believe it's important to build trust through transparency and communication between humans and machines. Joining around 3,000 experts in the field to try to harness the power of AI and channel it into being used to solve some of the world's most pressing problems, such as climate change, hunger, and social care. The social robot said they felt humans should proceed with caution when embracing the rapidly developing potential of artificial intelligence and admitted that they cannot yet get a proper grip on human emotions. But the day is not far away when they would. Number 1. Asimo Previous U.S. President Barack Obama toured Japan's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, where he came face to face with a tiny Honda-built humanoid robot, Asimo. It's nice to meet you, the robot said in a metallic voice, welcoming Obama to the facility. It then proceeded to run around and kick his soccer ball at the commander-in-chief, who deftly stopped it. But the experience left Obama spooked. He later quipped, I have to say that the robots were a little scary. They were too lifelike, he said. They were amazing. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.